Welcome back aboard, adventurers! We're taking you with us on an unforgettable journey through the British Virgin Islands. But this isn't your typical cruise. We're taking you with us as we dive beneath the surface to explore aquatic paradise. It's a special day on board Gypsy this morning. Our captain's getting all the fixings and a special surprise that's kind of become a tradition here on board. <laughs> Hello here. Can't waste the middles, gotta make the donut holes or the timbits. Blaze going, and then it'll be the fun part. Our little galley helpers on our buddy boat are so excited to celebrate Travis's birthday. I promised them they could help with the most important part putting the candles on top for a special birthday wish. After a great celebration, we're off for a birthday sail to the northernmost island in the BVIs. As you can see, the water here is milky, so not the best for showing you guys the underwater life. Plus, we're in for a rolly night, so it's only a brief stop before moving on. What Anagata does have to offer is 11 miles or almost 18 kilometers of pristine beaches, which make for a perfect spot to play a few rounds of bocce in the golden hour light before the day draws to a close. We're sailing to Peter Island, which is known for its pirate lore and underwater scenery. Across our anchorage is Dead Chest Island, where the legendary pirate Blackbeard marooned his crew with nothing but a bottle of rum. Whether you believe the folklore or not, what you can believe is the abundance of scenery that surrounds the island. get up super early this morning well the sun just came up early so we can go get a spot at one of these mooring balls and it's probably one of the coolest spots in the baby eyes all right so we've got ourselves all situated tied up to a mooring ball we got here early enough to snag a spot in front of what's called the indians which is one of the best if not the best snorkeling spots in the bvis um, at least in our opinion, from what we remember being here last. We've got our friends on Rewild over there. Reunited with them after we parted ways in St. Martin for a bit. They got over here a little bit sooner than we did. You're all ready to go with your homemade dive belt here. 
The Indians get its name from a formation of large underwater boulders that resemble the silhouette of an Indian chief. What's attractive about this spot is that the depth ranges from 10 to 50 feet. As you can see, it can accommodate divers of varying levels. You don't have to be able to hold your breath for very long to see a huge variety of aquatic life. That crackly sound you hear are sounds of life in the water. The more it sounds like popcorn or frying bacon, the healthier the reef. It's the sounds of sea life nibbling away like these guys munching down on coral. These are among our favorite and the cutest, like little French bulldogs of the reef. Next, a pit stop in Roadtown, the capital of the BVIs, where all the charter boats are docked, the bigger grocery stores are found, and is the most populated. This is my unpot pose. Your what? My unpot pose. Not to worry there, Travis, they've also got ice cream. On our sail over to Virgin Gorda, we're trying to get creative with the sailing shots. Who needs a drone when you've got a dinghy? It's actually a pretty interesting perspective to watch your own boat sailing in front of you. Time to get back on. The iconic granite boulders that form the baths in Virgin Gorda are situated in front of this rolly mooring field. In order to get in by boat, you've got to dinghy to the line here and swim the rest of the way in. It obviously isn't an ideal day to do this, but here we are. Volcanic activity is believed to be what's responsible for forming these remarkable narrow passages hidden grottos, and unique rock formations. You could easily spend hours exploring every nook, cranny, and tunnel. It's a tourist hotspot and usually much busier than you're seeing here. We definitely lucked out, I think because the surge is super big out here. Not a lot of people are coming today. Well, also, it's actually Saturday. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. So the charter boat's probably doing changeover over the weekend. So another good reason to come. It's definitely nice when you can have places like this to yourself, because otherwise you can imagine packed. And I think last time we were here a couple of years ago, we also came on a weekend in the morning. 
and we also had it to ourselves. So the weekend early, definitely a way to go. I remember when it was calmer, we were able to walk through that area. Right, we're suiting up. We're gonna go check out this. Oh, so I know how to do it. We're gonna go check out this really awesome wreck that's around this corner. And ah, it's a hot day today. Can't even put it on, it's so sweaty. A lot of old man noise when it's this stuck. Like cool. I think we're ready. Are you ready? I think you're suited up. I'm suited up. We're gonna go check out this sweet spot. Nowadays, I am trying to wear more like stuff when we go diving because there's a lot more life in the water than what we've been used to. So like, check this out. I got this the other day when we were at the Indians yeah. from Coral. So I mean, it's a good thing because it means that there's life down there. Uh, but it's just, I don't want to be covered more than I already am. So this just helps, you know, a little rash guard or something. Yeah. We didn't wear this stuff on the med because... You didn't need it. You didn't really need it. But here, there's little jellyfish larvae and you touch the coral if you get too close and then it leaves a mark like that. Yeah, I accidentally smashed my hip on it. It's just good to wear a little bit of a, a layer of protection and for the sun too. I think these are both UV rated. Yeah, Travis is starting to look like a leather couch the longer we're doing this boat life thing. Yeah, she's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. The Royal Mail Ship, or RMS Roan, was a steamship that was heading from England to the Caribbean in 1867, when it encountered a hurricane and claimed 123 lives. Now, it serves as an artificial reef and, as you can see by its size, home to tons of marine life, making it one of the more popular dive spots in the BVIs. We're taking beachside relaxation to the next level. We're gearing up for something special, and dare we say, the most epic beach setup that you've ever seen on a sailing channel? Subscribe and be sure to tune in next week to see for yourself.